everyone so today I am filming a new try on clothing haul and also I've got some accessories here and some random bits and bobs as well from three different stores I'm gonna jump straight in because there is a lot of stuff like a lot a lot a lot so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do so this is barking in the background. Don't forget to thumbs up. So first off, I have some stuff here from Princess Polly. This was all it kindly sent to me. And they did give me a code for you. The discount code is just Shannon. And that's going to give you 20% off store-wide. And the website is princesspolly.com. This is a website I have personally shopped on in the past. You've probably actually seen them mentioned in my videos once or twice as well. Or on like Instagram and stuff. I really like their stuff. They're just a really good like online boutique. They've got heaps of clothing, accessories, shoes. I can't breathe. And if you do live in New Zealand and you spend over 80 New Zealand dollars, you get free express shipping as well. Who doesn't love free shipping? Like, they just, they just seals the deal, you know? And just another little side note, they do also offer afterpay, including to New Zealand customers. So, really good if you just want to, like, shop now, pay later, you know? I'll write all the information down below anyway. I just want to get started and show you guys what I got. The first thing is actually what I'm wearing right now, this red dress. I actually wore it this just past weekend. God, it's Monday while I'm filming this. But I just wore it on the weekend and it was so comfy and so cute and I just I'm obsessed with it I want to see if they have it in different colors or something because it's really really flattering I'll show you it better like to the side but this is how it looks it's all ruched as well and I got I think a size it's like size 12 or size large I'm usually a size like kind of in between a 10 and a 12 so I usually go for like a medium to a large I'm pretty sure what is this okay yeah this is a large Australian 12 it's definitely a little bit too big but it's so comfy that I do not care whatsoever so that's my sizing just for reference throughout this whole video I am obsessed with this color it is the most beautiful deep red you guys know how like hyper I get during like try on videos and I don't actually know why this I'm very excited about okay I have been looking for fluffy jackets since I saw Jordan Lipscomb is that how you pronounce her last name hopefully um I was watching one of her hauls back in the day like well not really back in the day it was like a couple of months ago and she was showing these adorable like fluffy jackets and jerseys and stuff but I couldn't find them I think they sold out after her video so I came across these on Princess Polly well this is one of them there is another one this is just a huge oversized like fluffy jacket and I love the color it's like this nice kind of like silvery gray I just think it's really flattering with the blonde hair but I feel like it would look amazing on brunettes as well and it's quite a long line jacket it feels quite warm first impression wise and it's so freaking soft <laughs> like I just want to like cuddle up in bed with this like a blanket like it is so so soft the front just closes with like these little clips but personally I'd probably just wear this open and I feel like it would look the best just with like black skinny jeans a plain white tee maybe a cute belt and then just this on top and some cute boots or something like that I just said boots really weird boots but yeah you can do it up if you wish and then I'll show you the next one straight away so this one is more of a tan color like you can see like a beige once again I feel like it would suit blondes or brunettes or anything in between this is also so soft it's less like long hair this one's more like short hair this style is is more cropped and it also zips up the front so this one it would be also good for jeans or whatever but it's a little bit more like I guess sporty looking it's not really a sporty style but you know what I mean like just the cropped look kind of like a bomber jacket or something like that it's actually probably a little bit more wearable than the previous one just because it's not as bulky but yeah I love both of them so much they're super cute okay next up is a t-shirt I saw this on Princess Polly and I was just like sold instantly <laughs> this is just a really cute little like t-shirt crop top and it's got little like lines down at the shoulders I just think again it's kind of like that sporty vibe and the fabric is so lightweight and silky smooth like it's just got a really nice kind of shape to it it's very boxy but very flowy at the same time next up is a little like cami kind of top this again is like a beige kind of color I really actually like it I don't often go for this type of color but I think it is really flattering so it's just a little crop top it's short at the back and then at the front it's actually got little ties so you can tie it up in a little knot and something I really like about this is the little buttons they're kind of like wooden inspired and they're super cute and then the final like clothing piece I got but don't worry there's so much more stuff um this is a skirt and it's kind of like a cinched waist skirt and it actually crosses over at the front I'm not sure if you'll be able to see like this layer it's kind of like multi-layered it's just like a nice kind of like linen-y kind of fabric with all the embroidery on it so it's not just printed like it's actually like sewn in there it feels really good quality I can't see any kind of like you know loose strings or anything like that and I just love the little ruffles as well these are what I like to call the crazy aunt sunglasses you know glasses I always think of those like aunties like the very eclectic is that the word eclectic 
eclectic with the crazy style like the cat eye these ones i find always look good in photos like when you just kind of have them on the edge of your nose and you kind of like you know pose i feel like if you actually wear them like all of a sudden you look like some guy in the 90s beatboxing and like i don't know freestyler but on the edge of the nose just like super chic and cute and like I don't know, like very photo, like Instagrammable. And I just love the tortoise shell. So I thought that was super cute. And I love how the like glass, glass is tinted. That's very on trend at the moment. I noticed so many sunglasses, especially after Karen Walker did her collection. There's just like so many like pastel and like light colorful shades in the sunglasses rather than them just being like dark brown or black. Like there's so many fun colors. So I really like that. It's very on trend. I got a couple of hats. Now this one, this is like the thing I'm most unsure about, but I freaking love it. I just don't know if I love it on myself, but I saw it on the website and I was just like, holy crap, that's so cute. Probably another one of those things I'm too scared to wear out of the house, but I'd wear it in photos. So it's one of those like little French like beret is that how you say it a beret i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right and it says crush on you i don't know why but i love it so much i just don't know if i can pull it off i'm so iffy with hats like i never know if i can actually pull hats off don't you reckon you could just do like the cutest little instagram pictures with this <laughs> some people would be able to rock this so easily but i'm so like basic sorry i just keep hitting my elbow on <laughs> the desk i feel like i'm so basic i'm such a basic person with my fashion this one is so cute as well i actually love this and this feels like incredible quality it's basically kind of like a faux suede texture on the top and then the little peak is like a smoother kind of like suede leathery look i don't know if you can see it very well and then it's got this cute little like leatherish strap let's give it a go do we like it maybe not with the red once again white t-shirt black t-shirt that's how the hat looks it's actually really comfy okay seriously i went ham with the accessories i also got this clutch and it reminded me of like Gucci like it's a very Gucci kind of inspired like embroidered pattern this also feels like really good quality it's got this nice little opening which actually like locks in place so which one is it this one you just push that one to the side and it opens up it's got the gold chain strappy thing plenty of room in here I could easily fit my phone some makeup my vlog camera like all of that kind of stuff in there it's not really thin and small and impractical like you could actually like put your stuff in here it's got a cute little tag like it just looks very expensive you know what I mean? Like it's not like a really tacky kind of um, quality. It feels very durable. Okay, these are the boots I was talking about. Now, these I actually got sent in a size up, size 39. I'm usually about a 38, but these fit really well. So it is a good idea, I think, to go up a size. They're very, very snug. They really like sit super tight around your ankles so these have a really cute zip up the bag they feel very durable with good quality this elastic kind of band around the ankles they're a nice height and they've got a little bit of a heel which is just enough for every day it's not too uncomfortable like it's well, obviously it's pretty short but it just gives you that extra bit of like glam and height you know so i got this choker as well this is so cute so this is in silver like you can see and it's just got tiny little stars on and i just think that's the cutest thing and i just love how dainty it is i'm a big like fan of dainty jewelry. I also got these little kind of like sleeper earrings. I'll have to like show you up close because they're gonna be hard to show you. But they're just little hoops with little stars on them. And I just thought they'd be really, really cute and cute for layering as well. If you're like men have a couple of different holes, you could like wear multiple pairs and it's such a cute look. So I really like the look of those ones. They're so, so cute. And then the final thing from Princess Polly, like I said, you could use another pair and another hole of your ears. And these would look so cute with the stars. They're a little moon. Don't you think? They're just the cutest thing. So like you could do the star, the moon. Oh, I should take a photo wearing them so you can see. So if you do check out Princess Polly, do not forget to use the code Shannon on the website to get a discount. I'm not making any money off the discount code, but this portion of the video is sponsored. However, of course, it is a brand that I love, a shop that I love, and shop at myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's move on to the next stuff. The next shop is Kmart, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Who doesn't love Kmart? Kmart. like Kmart is life sorry but it is like it's, it's just life so I spent $144.50 at Kmart but I also got dog toys so um the stuff here was actually a little bit less than that the first thing I'm very hyped about I'm not gonna lie so I've wanted a new robe for a while now I've had the same old ones for years and they're just so stained and just old like I've got makeup all over them and fake tan and all the rest of it so I got a new robe and this one is so cozy it's a size 10 to 12 was $28 which is quite a pricey for it came up but trust me it is so worth it it's so cozy and it's super cute it's got little clouds all over it so I just want to smother myself in it so I'm happy about that one I also got these shoes for $3.50 
50 cents. I just love these. I find them so comfortable. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I get blisters with like every pair of shoes, like sneakers especially, whereas these never give me blisters and sometimes I don't even wear them with socks. Don't know if that's gross, but TBH, I just don't. I wear them to festivals and just out and about on the weekend and stuff like that. They look really cute. So I got a pair of them and I get a size eight. And then the other things I got here, like $7, I think. Look how cute they are. Hamish chose these ones out for me. And they're just like cute little knitted little sock booty slipper situation thingies with little grips on the bottom as well. Just really cute for around home during the colder seasons because in New Zealand right now we are in autumn heading towards winter which is really crap TBH but um, these would be cute to wear around the house and everything just to keep my tootsies warm. I also got some new shower thingies like boring and then something I love at Kmart Holy crap, is their bras. I wear their bras like religiously when I wear a bra. <laughs> okay, so I picked this one up. This isn't a normal one I would go for, but what size did I get? I got a size medium, it was $6. And I thought this would be really cute because I have a couple of off the shoulder um, like tops, but they're quite sheer. So you can't really wear just nipple covers and you can't wear like a normal bra because it's off the shoulder. So I thought this would be perfect. And I like the elastic kind of like style because it's a little bit more comfortable than a traditional bra with a little strap and it gives me back rolls and you know. These are the ones I love. So I got a few. Um, these here cost $12 each and they're seriously the most comfortable bras I own. Actually, this one's slightly different. This one does have an underwire, but I also get ones that don't have an underwire. They're really, really comfy. So I got a size 12D. I'm usually about a 10 double D, but they didn't have like any. So I got a 12D and they've just got a nice little softly padded um, cup. My boobs are obviously big already, so I don't really like too much push-up action. I find that these still push me up really nicely without being super ridiculous, if you know what I mean. And then I got this white one as well. I've already got a nude one. My nude one doesn't have the underwire. And then just a plain black one. Seriously, like I rate these. They're so comfortable and they just fit me really well. Like a lot of places like Bend On, I can't even go near. Bend On just squashes my boobs and stabs me in the sides and like it doesn't matter what size I, like I've been checked you know with all the sizing and everything but it just they just don't work like they just are very uncomfortable for me these are so comfortable and they're so cheap like they still last really well mine is still going strong and I've had my nude one for probably about three years now oh this was exciting so I got two pairs of these nipple covers I usually go to cotton on body for them but they're always sold out and I prefer these ones which are like the silicone because they really blend into your boobies and and I find the paper ones can just go really stiff looking and make you look even worse than if you just were to not wear nipple covers whatsoever. These cost um, $7 each, so not a bad price because you can reuse them so many times. These are really good. I've already used one pair of them. I'm going to keep these ones brand new and just use my other ones. I wore them with this dress actually the other night and they were really good. They didn't peel off anywhere. They stuck amazing. They're nice and thin so they don't look really protruding but they still covered the steps, you know. I also got some fashion tape because I always need it and I can never find it. Seven bucks, so I just thought that was a really good little bargain. The final two things, I picked up this pencil case. Five dollars, so really affordable. I thought this would be perfect for when I travel for my makeup brushes, because obviously makeup brushes are a little bit a little bit longer. So I just thought it'd be perfect to take my makeup brushes with me because I always take like tons of makeup brushes. And I don't necessarily always like taking my brush roll because it's quite big. Um, so I thought this was nice and slim and small and just how cute as well. <laughs> and then the last thing is actually a gift. I just got it for Sally because I thought it was really cute. She's probably already got one knowing her. But I thought this would be really cute for Mavis. It's like a sushi bowl like a water bowl, like how cute is that? And then the final stuff I have here is from Glassens. So the first thing I got cost $40. This is just a really cute like chuck on khaki green or like, what would you call this kind of green? It's not really a khaki green, it's like a moss green maybe. Just really cute. Hamish loves these on me. At the moment I've got a white one and he was like, you need to get some more. So I headed to Glassens. They actually have heaps of cute like winter stuff. So I picked up that one. I also picked up this a little cardigan. This is $50 and it's so soft. It's like fluffy woolen fabric and it feels so warm. It's just like an open cardigan. I got this skirt. Hopefully it fits me okay. I think I went a size up. I ended up getting, what was that? Yeah, I got a 12. It was $40 as well. And it's just a denim skirt with like buttons. Hamish was very iffy about this, so hopefully it looks good on. He just finds denim skirts creepy. 
I like denim skirts though, so I wear them. And then the other skirt I got is actually like a little leather one. I feel like this looked really small. I got a size 12, but I feel like it looks really, really small. I don't know if it's just me, like, hopefully if it's me. But it's just a really nice, soft, kind of pleathery feel. And so I got some sunglasses from Glassens. I fell in love with these as soon as I saw them. These cost $24.99, and they're super cute. This is what they look like on. They reminded me of key sunglasses, um, but cheaper, obviously, and I just love the style. They also came in black which I was about to buy until I saw the tortoise shell. I love tortoise shell, especially sunglasses. I've always been a huge fan. I got a blouse, which is unlike me. I saw it and I thought it was like a really cute style and Hamish usually hates leopard print, but I was like, could I get, get away with this? He's like, yeah. I was like, what? You hate leopard print? He's like, yeah, but I like the style and it's not super tacky. He said it's quite a nice leopard print. So there you go. There's his expert opinion. <laughs> and then the final thing I got from Glassons is another little cardigan, just like cute everyday cardigan. Lucky we're almost done because the lighting is just screwing me over. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And again, the buttons really caught my eye. That was like what sold it for me. They're like little tortoise shell buttons. Like how cute are they? That is the final thing I got. So at Glassons, I spent $264. So for all those things, I don't really think that's too bad and then I think everything on Princess Polly was around a thousand or so so I'm very incredibly lucky thank you so much once again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys enjoy it the discount code discount code Shannon enjoy it um, I'll put all the information down below all of the links to all the Princess Polly stuff and make sure you check out the website so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it it helps me get my videos out there I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>